Hi Gemini, this is Bohemia with Bohemian Sun and Ocean Heart Readings. And, excuse me, I'll that just a little bit. There we go. Um, I am here to do your Venus and Scorpio transit readings. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So go ahead and check your other placements videos as well in the sign of Gemini. And um, I'm going to use a spread here that I created specifically for the Venus and Scorpio transit. I've already pre-shuffled and laid out the cards because I don't have enough time with this recording through the YouTube app to shuffle, so I apologize. But please go ahead, check the description box below if you would like to email me for personal reading. Um, also, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment. So let's get into it. You have almost all reversals, Gemini. You only have one upright card in your spread. So we have a lot to talk about. In your subconscious energy, we have the chariot reversed. So really just wanting to pump your brakes on a lot of things going on. Could feel very emotional. I do feel a slight difference in those of you who may be Gemini moon versus those of you who are Gemini sun and the reading and we'll talk about that. But this is really feeling like your goals are out of reach. Everything's topsy-turvy and turned upside down. You're feeling out of balance. You know, you can't get the, the twins to synchronize and maybe very emotional and really changing your roots of the goals that you wanted, you know, the chariot's about like, oh, I have this emotional connection and, and these goals and morals that I'm launching from, um, out into the world, you know, it has that home base to it being a card of cancer. And now it's like, that's kind of upside down. Your home base is changing. Your, your morals are changing. What you thought you wanted is changing and therefore your goals are changing and you're not exactly sure where you're going. So let's go ahead and see your personal expression and free will. We have the seven of scepters or the seven of wands, and this is reversed. So feeling like another party is winning out over you, feeling like you, um, oh, a little bit there. Okay, feeling like you, um, just aren't on top of things. You know, definitely could have um, a fire sign that is feeling like they're intimidating you, or you know, maybe feeling like your own fire has gone out in some way. Feeling like your solar plexus is a bit weak but this is like you're trying to make that comeback but since you're not exactly sure who you are anymore and what you're where you're coming from it's hard to like defend yourself and and stick with yourself during this time so your personal expression is a little bit inhibited and you're not quite sure what you want to do with your free will because you're still finding yourself again in desires, dreams, and fantasies, we have the five of skulls or the five of pentacles. And this is, you know, reversed as well. So really, really feeling like left out in the cold. And this is where you're not feeling that there's hope in sight. You're feeling like everything is just desolate. It's done. It's the rejection is the rejection. And it's really having um, a difficult time letting you like fantasize and dream and kind of manifest because you're just like, no, like look at reality. Like you're seeing reality so hard. You're not even seeing the opportunity of getting a helping hand or of, you know, a door opening as one closes. So it is a very, very serious, um, cynical outlook you're taking. Um, you might go between that and then completely like, okay, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. But then you crash and you come back down and reality is just very, very hard for you, Gemini this time. In romance and partnerships and relationships, we have the six of pentacles reversed. So this is showing that there's a lack of reciprocity. There's you feeling like you're not getting help. For some of you, you definitely could be having financial, um, you know, problems. And I would say, please, you know, find somebody that you can communicate to. And you might have to go beyond the people you know and go to, you know, an agency of some sort to get help. But this is definitely saying don't just shoulder it alone because you could get into very serious financial issues. I'm also feeling that some of you are in abusive relationships. Um, this is a severe harm to the physical body or health could be possible. Um, somebody who thinks that it's okay to cross your physical boundaries and your relationship relationships. And if so, it's definitely time to reach out and get some help. And you might feel like, well, you know, at one point people were trying to help me and, you know, I stayed in the relationship and so I can't ask them now. They're not going to help me or they're going to turn me away or, or mock me or I don't have anywhere to go. But you have to find those other resources and get yourself out of this situation. There are many different, you know, like I said, even if you have to go to an agency, that's okay. As long as you're, you're safe and you're, you're, doing better. So whether that's getting a loan or whether that is finding a temporary shelter so you can get out of an abusive relationship, um, it's very important that you do so, Gemini. 
and intimacy with partners. We have the three of pentacles reversed. So definitely um, we've had third party energy and we've seen that in some of the Gemini readings. Um, so this could be part of the problem too is that everybody knows about it and everybody knows that you were the other woman or other man or other person or that somebody else was and everything's you know everyone's getting played over here and it's really affected your body again there could be something i do feel a violation of body so you can feel your own body being violated if you find out your partner has been unfaithful to you um and it could also be that you don't want to be intimate because you're looking around and every single person you see whether it's supposed to be established relationship relationship and marriage or what is just cheating and breaking up and fighting and abuse and you're just really not wanting to share your body with others you might not want to post yourself so much on social media right now and you might have your profile very private and really feeling like you need to reclaim your body. This would really speak to counseling too. If you need to talk about things, whether it's going to the doctor and getting checkups, or if you need to talk about things that have happened to you because of financial hardship or abusive relationships or um, you know health concerns because of mistrust in a relationship, it's important that you do seek out. You know, again, I am feeling that you might have to rely more on professional services or like volunteer services than necessarily the people that you depend on that are supposed to be close to you and you could definitely be having issues with an earth sign um a, an earth signs could be very um volatile to you or people who have earth in their chart at this time so that could be virgo taurus and capricorn in karma justice and cycles right now the sign of gemini is you know there's not going to be any second chances so for those of you gemini's who have been cheating around or if you're being the abusive party or you know things like that there there's no second chances going on right now there's um the need for judgment to come through but it's coming through harsh when it does come through um i am feeling for gemini moons some of you have been on the receiving end of a lot of abuse lately and um you are in the position to make judgment calls to let this person come back or maybe how they appear in public or maybe whether to press charges or not and you know should i just win should i flip all this instead of me being down should i find a way to be victorious and get help and you know take this person to court or you know call the police or you know it's it is a very serious reading that's coming out you know let the public know what they're up to um and i do feel like that power is in your hands so whichever side you're on judgment is going to come through it's it's taking a little time but there's going to be no second chances with the people who have violated it in this way and um you know it, it's going to be tough when it comes through for those of you who are single there could be still the need to allow yourself in your own mind to process some past abusive things that have gone in relationships or just things that weren't okay like cheating partners or just a lack of stability or someone who used you for your finances there's the need for you to get that judgment clear in your spirit and your mind so as you move forward you don't attract the same type of partner um in attraction um, how are you attracting others? You have the star card. So you're, you're, you're beautiful to others. You know, you make people hopeful, you bring joy, you, um, you know, have a detached way about you, but you really inspire others. So it's okay for you to need a little inspiration. And this lets, lets you know that there are friends, people who maybe are acquaintances who are a little bit distant now, who will actually come close and want to help you. And, you know, there's, there's hope. This is the wishing card. And I'm so glad there's so much negative, everything reversed, but this is a beautiful, literally hopeful, wishful card for you to get. Aquarians might be strong allies for you at this time. Okay. The challenge card, what is taboo in the judgment of society? We have the two of knives on its side here reversed. So making decisions, people are really judging you for your decisions. Everyone's got something to say. It's not their business. It ain't their business. If you want to file papers, if you want to file a report, if you got something to say and you're deciding to leave, that's your business. Okay. No one else's. Your Oracle card here is redemption, absolution, 